Welcome to the one and only Seniors News Show You Watch. I'm Maria. And I'm Alex. This week, we're covering the Thrive Initiative, the new Provost, My Stevens 2.0, and Christy DeMille's latest Title IX campaign. Don't stand by, speak up. Only on TV News. We read the news so you don't have to. Dr. Christophe Pierre has been welcomed into the Stevens administration as a successor to George Kofiardis, the previous Stevens Provost and Vice President for Academic Affairs. Dr. Pierre's previous accomplishments include his work as a researcher of vibrations, structural dynamics, and nonlinear dynamics. Before Stevens, he served as a Dean of Faculty of Engineering at McGill University in Montreal. He even received the N.O. Michael Stad Award for, from the American Society of Mechanical Engineers for his contributions in vibration localization. Dr. Pierre has been on campus for less than a month, but says that students have a large amount of energy, excitement, and commitment towards the university. Don't stand by, speak up is a new slogan on campus regarding some major issues on campus like sexual assault, discrimination, alcohol use, depression, and hazing. Last spring, Chrissy DeMell, the Assistant Dean of Students, organized a student faculty group that worked on addressing student concerns from the standpoint of prevention and awareness. The campaign teaches the three Ds of bystander intervention, direct, distract, delegate. The ad campaign advertised the three Ds through magnets and flyers posted all over campus. A 45-minute training module was created and piloted to the orientation leaders and resident assistants. Training will continue with the athletics department to educate the teams. A second Hanlon laboratory for financial analysis and data visualization has been built on the first floor of the Babia Center. One of the main goals of the second lab is to help expand opportunities for business students studying quantitative finance and financial engineering. Some of the state-of-the-art features include Bloomberg terminals and data analysis tools. The terminals are equipped with specialized keyboards and software that allow users to access an array of financial tools. Last year, David Dodd, Stevens Chief Information Officer, and Aaron Gary, Director of Enterprise Web Services, teamed up to reform MyStevens to be more accessible, more personal, and e easier to use. This year, MyStevens 2.0 has been released to the Stevens public. Dodd says that the tool behind the original MyStevens is from the 1990s. The new interface looks to provide responsive, user experience for the dashboard and push notifications from the Canvas course platform. Their efforts have also included revamping the student faculty web self-services function using Workday Student. Stevens is currently one of nine schools in the country working with Workday. In the future, Dodd says that Workday Student is going to completely rev revolutionize everything students do, from finding courses, registering for classes, and even paying tuition. Thrive is an initiative that aims to provide Stevens students the ability to create and maintain a contented body, mind, and soul. Thrive was initiated on the 14th of September in an event on Palmer Lawn. It began with an address from SGA President Matthew Hunt and featured guest speaker Richard Cody, who served as Governor of New Jersey from 2004 to 2006. Sarah Klein, the Assistant Vice President for Student Affairs, said that the Don't Stand By, Speak Up campaign furthers the tradition of being stigma-free at Stevens. For this week's Technically Speaking, let's go to our senior software engineer correspondent, Tarek Kadiri. Tarek? In smartphone news, Samsung has recalled millions of Galaxy Note 7 phones after only being unveiled one month ago due to a battery issue that has caused a number of customers to have their phones ignited and melted. Sales of the new smartphone has been halted in 10 countries worldwide, including the United States. In the next few weeks to come, Samsung has promised to deliver a free product to current customers to replace their Note 7. Starting next week, Samsung will allow customers to replace their Note 7s for a Galaxy S7 or S7 Edge in a $25 gift card or equivalent. Back to you. Thanks, Tarek. That's this week's news. For more news and stories, pick up a copy of The Stoot or subscribe at thestoot.com slash subscribe. And to tune into some more of our pristine video content, please tune in to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash sittv. I'm Maria. And I'm Alex. Have a great day.